What's going on guys, your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and I am back with another episode of Vikings, and we are here to stay once again, looking into my man Ragnar, okay, so we saw what happened with Rolo, I mean, should he stay, should he go, who knows, I mean, at this point in this show, like, I mean, with Lagertha gone and Bjorn gone, like, you know, what is going to take place now? You know what I'm saying? Is it really worth, was it worth it, you know, for, for Ragnar? Was it, was it really worth it, you know, for him to step out of his, you know, marriage like that? Um, I know he's hurting right now. But he still has a duty to be a father to his new son. So, is, <laughs> hopefully it is a son. <laughs> Let's just say that. Because I don't think they know if it's a, if it's going to be a girl or a boy. So, we'll see how things turn out um, in this situation um, for Ragnar. Um, so, that's really all... I mean, his story is ridiculous right now. They're ready to set say what well, they put aside their differences. Him and and um, what's his name again? Um, Jarl Borg. Um, so the king has really brought. I mean, Ragnar kind of brought everybody together, including the king and the beef that they had. Rolo chose to go against them, so he was to be punished by that. But they paid off the the guy that was supposed to, you know, the judge per se um paid him off so that they you know did not have to end up executing um Rolo so um so let's see if he changes hopefully he does and he does don't still feel like he's in Ragnar's shadow um you know and Siggy is there um I mean if you guys felt like Siggy kind of pushed him towards this um she deserves a little bit of the blame, but all in all, you know, every man is responsible for their own decisions. Um, if you're nobody can force you to make any decision in life. You know what I mean? Um, nobody can force you to make a decision. A choice is all the choice is always yours. You might say, Oh, I didn't have any other choice. Um, but we always do have a choice, even though maybe that that other choice might have resulted in your death you still had a choice so i hate that that statement when people say it to me you know i didn't have a choice but to do this i didn't have a choice no your morals caused you to make the choice you did but you did have a choice your thinking made you made the choice in every scenario we have choices and we choose and that becomes the decision and we have to prepare to accept the consequences of those decisions whether it be more life or death that's what it is or maybe it's not a life and death situation that you've made that decision um so just have to be prepared to deal with the consequences so a choice is always there for us free will is always there for us is how you choose to look at it that makes it seem um misconstrued or something like that so let's jump into this reaction man i'm dying to see episode two of season two so let's jump into this vikings let's get it man let's go All right, that episode was jam packed. Anyways, man, um, as I said, I'm enjoying the series, and I'm gonna try to get a couple more episodes out to you guys in the next couple of days. Um, it depends on if things, cause I just got a, oh man, I don't even know. But let me say this: this episode was was really good, really good. We got a battle. Um, they're in a new place called, it seems like it's SX, right? SS? X, SS? I don't remember. SX, I think the guy said. <laughs> so, 
pretty dope. It's kind of I, I I like the fact that Ragnar is still has Bjorn in his mind. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't mention Lagertha once, but he's still they're still trying to keep Bjorn a relevant character. You know, so that's pretty cool. Four years later, the time skip. Um, it, it, it was in a certain way, it was kind of necessary um, for them to have a time skip because we wanted to know what was happening, what's going to happen with, with the sons. I mean, we want to know what's going to happen. When are they going to say West? If they had just jumped in and, and, you know, this episode, there was no time skip or anything, and all of a sudden they had ships and ready to sail, I would be asking the question like, wait a minute, I thought we were building a fleet. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want that weird time skip stuff. Um, not not that weird time travel stuff, I should say, um, in these shows. I hate when they do that in shows like take your time and build a story. Okay, let people leave people wanting more every time you finish a season of a show, you know, and then you can build the lore about uh, around it so much better. You know what I'm saying? Use time skips um, in the ways that it should be used. You know what I'm saying? And not just throw it out there. You know what I'm saying? So the pace of this episode was really good. As I said, man, they are, from from you heard what I said from the last episode, that the pacing has really, really been good um, so, so far for this season. From me watching that one episode, I can see that they're taking those stuff in consideration maybe they have new writers on the show and stuff like that i said listen let's build something here because we have something which is as you can see as now vikings is like i don't know what what season it's on but any show that lasts for five years or more is a show it's it, you know what i'm saying it's a show it's something that people are watching it's something that definitely is getting good ratings on tv so they keep not canceling the show or it or forcing it to end you know what i'm saying and it's an ongoing um it's an ongoing show right now so thank you guys so much for watching man this this episode when um what went down in it right we got I didn't expect them to 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 kind of shaft um, y'all Borg like that. I thought everything was copacetic. Became, you know, there was a, a a a agreement that went on in the last episode that I was like, okay, now we we're at an agreement. Was it? It was the last episode, right? Yeah. So this uh, this agreement to raid together and then hit, the King King Horik. King Horik deciding based on what he saw between Ragnar and Rolo was it was a bit standoffish. Um, I think the more men they have, the more success they will have wherever they go to raid. So it was kind of like I just don't understand what he thought Yarborg was going to do when you obviously have Ragnar on your side, plus you have your men. Like, what is Yarborg going to do? They don't. Uh, they definitely don't outnumber you, you know, and there's more forces, that's more treasure you can bring back, there's more um, men you can bring, they probably wouldn't have even, you probably wouldn't even have lost your son right now, if you had not been so freaking petty, because this is a big, it's a bit petty, like, you got to be able to put your differences aside to accomplish bigger goals, I've always said that to people, so, it, it's like, for me, it's just like, I've always said that, listen, I am not here to baby people. When it comes down to people that I talk to in groups and stuff like that, I always tell them, I'm not here to baby people. Adults or adults are going to do whatever they have to do. You have to make a choice for yourself. Hate me or love me, I'm going to teach you and give you the tools you need to be successful in life. It's what I do. So if you're here and whether you spent your money or the class was free, you came here to learn. You can't go to college and, um, you know what I'm saying? You paid your money, a ton of money to go to college. You can't just get here and be like, oh, I don't like this teacher. I don't like this professor. So I'm not going to, I don't want to, I don't want to hear nothing he has to say. I don't, you know, that is something that you're not going to get transferred out of that class because, because 
you decide that you didn't like you don't like this person and they're not you know abusing you or doing anything offensive to you you get what i'm saying so you can't just decide oh i don't like this person so you get what i'm saying so i i just didn't like how as i said it's a bit standoffish how he came to that decision as in oh you can't trust your brother right you can't trust your brother but you know what i'm saying and you're saying you can't trust this guy like he's obvious you've been paying the dude you know what i'm saying so it's not like the the agreement you not you now have broken that agreement because of somebody else's personal issues it's dumb it's stupid i think it's a very stupid decision that king horik made um even though I don't like the fact that this guy, y'all Borg, I don't really like him. I don't like his character because, as you can see, he went back and tried to convince Rolo again to step up against Ragnar, which I, I'm not for. Like, he learned his lesson. I'm glad he punched him in his mouth and was like, dude, yeah, I may be a fool. You know what I'm saying? And I hope to be wise one day, which it was a dumb decision for him to go up against Ragnar. He just has to understand that it's not about the shadow. It's like working together with somebody. Yes, you may not be in that position. We have this situation happening when it comes on to monarchs all the time. Little brothers, older brothers. Hey, he's in line to be the next king. What do you want me to do? I can't do anything about it. I got to wait until this guy dies. To become king what is he gonna do kill his brother you know what i'm saying like it's just it's just situations like that it's like you just gotta understand like i didn't choose when i came into the world so i can't look at my brother and be like oh if he's the favorite i'm gonna i'm gonna kill him so i can become the favorite like you know, <laughs> you know what i'm saying like people have those personal issues all the time in life and you just gotta learn to accept it and just do if if you want to show um people up the best thing to do when it when it, when it comes on to family is to prove them wrong about what they think about you i'll tell you that a hundred percent it will work when it comes on to family just prove them wrong about anything that they say about you. if they say you're stupid prove to them how wise you can be how you know how great you can be how successful you can be it's the only way to shut them up if you can't take it the answer is not to kill him okay the answer is not to kill him the answer is not to turn around and abuse them in any way you know what i'm saying like no that is not the answer the answer is to prove to them through your actions prove to them through your action that you are not those things eventually they will realize who the f you are so thank you guys for watching as always man this episode was pretty dope now they're in essex introduced to an another savage which is which is another king i don't remember egbert egbert i think they said egbert so i'm definitely interested to see how formidable for for formidable formidable <laughs> an opponent this will be as an antagonist for ragnar in the story going forward so let's see it, uh, hopefully we know he's not he doesn't look like um he doesn't look like um the same character as um that other um king ale like he doesn't look flimsy he not he not, he's definitely not fat as you can see so he looks like he's formidable looks like he's gonna put up a good fight so we'll get to see that so thank you guys for watching as always man just remember to like and comment under this video if you're new remember to subscribe thank you guys for watching the review if you stay this long and watch the video and watch all of my review i thank you guys to the utmost man you guys are the best thank you guys for tuning in whenever i put up these episodes you guys have been unbelievable actually for the last episode of viking that i that i put up episode one season two episode one you guys really came through for me i think that video is at like three four hundred views right now which is unbelievable for my vikings videos because i usually they usually um clock out around 100 views um so for that to go up to like 300 views was very new to me um so i really appreciate all the new people that came over to watch um my vikings reactions man thank you guys hope you guys are enjoying the full reactions as always man it's your boy terabyte reacts and peace